Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my project wax update for November. So I am kind of transitioning into winter scents. I'm sorry if you can hear the bubby sighing over here because he's annoyed with me filming. <laughs> the face of annoyance. So I am gonna be transitioning most of my scents to winter. So I'm gonna have a few kind of leftover fall scents, but I'm gonna be taking out a lot of these candles from the last couple of months of the project. So let's just go ahead and get started. So since our last update, I did finish off three candles. I actually already threw away the third one, so I'll just tell you about it. It was Pumpkin Peanut Brittle, which I love that scent. I think I was a little more than halfway through it whenever I updated you guys last time. So I just went ahead and finished that one off. It was so yummy. And then I finished off Pumpkin Cinnamon Bun. And this is one of my new favorites. It's so yummy. Here is my progress from the last time I updated you to here. I finished it off actually in October. And this is Warm Cinnamon Roll Pumpkin Spice and Vanilla Frosting. I also finished off Pumpkin Pecan Waffles a few days ago. This one is Maple Syrup Golden Waffles Pumpkin Spice and Brown Sugar. Now I didn't actually say that I was putting this in the project last month, but I definitely in my head had put it in the project already. So I didn't mark it or anything, but I just used it up all the way in the month of um, October and November. So that was this one. So some things that we're gonna take out of the project, I have Blueberry pumpkin patch right here. Um, I put it in the project up here and I didn't use it at all because I figured out that I hate this scent. So I think I'm gonna sell it on Facebook Marketplace. I'm just like not, I'm not vibing with it. I'm about to do like a candle declutter because I have some winter scents that I wanna get rid of too and it's like the perfect time. So yeah, I'm gonna declutter <laughs> blueberry pumpkin patch. I'm like really not vibing with it. I hate how it smells. It's too artificial, so I'm taking it out of the project. And then we have Hot Cider Donut, which I was so excited to put in in October, and then I kind of forgot about it. I put it in my office, and it just wasn't the right scent for the office space, but I'm just going to put this back in my collection and save it for next October. But here's my progress from here to here. I did burn it a few times, but not as much as I would have liked, so I'll just save it for next October because I know that I love it. Next one I'm going to be saving is Champagne Apple and Honey. This one was really good to me. I loved it in the bedroom. It's crisp apples, sparkling champagne, and jasmine honey. I might actually just go ahead and pull this back out in the spring, but I want to get started on some uh, winter scents because I know it'll take me a while to get through them. So I'm gonna wanna start them in November. So I'm just taking this one out. And then we have Hocus Pocus 2 Halloween Night. This one from Goose Creek is a um, candy corn scent from last Halloween. I did actually get some more progress, so you can't really tell, but from here to here, so I burned it a few times. It's actually a little murky now, so I would put it in the um, candle crock, but I'm just gonna save it for next year, for next Halloween. Okay, time to update. So I did put in white pumpkin last time in the project, but I actually haven't burned it yet. I kind of forgot that I put it in the project, but white pumpkin is gingered white pumpkin caramel glaze and warm blended spices. I'm gonna keep this one in just because it is kind of a very good November scent. So that one is staying. I don't have any progress on it yet though. I put in mahogany vanilla last time. I'm loving this scent, it smells so good. So I've gone from here to here, just a little bit of progress. I'm mainly doing it in like the kitchen area or the office, so I'm loving this one. And then I'm gonna keep in blueberry cheesecake. I might not get a lot of use on it, but I'm loving it. So I'm just gonna keep it in. Um, here's my progress from last month. This is from Homeworks. It's wild Maine blueberry cheesecake accord, blackberry jam and brown sugar crust. I really like this scent. I'm, Blueberry cheesecake is not necessarily like a fall to winter scent, but I'm still loving it. Okay, I have four new candles that I'm gonna put into the project. I have Harvest Gathering right here, which is my signature Thanksgiving scent. I've marked it, we are right up here. I actually burned it last night and loved it. It smells very spicy, super clovey. It's fresh picked apple, autumn berries, and clove buds. This is like super, super clove, but I love it so much. It's like the perfect Thanksgiving scent. So I'm excited to use that one. And then I'm putting in this Blends Collection candle in Cinnamon Spice Vanilla and Hot Cocoa and Cream. I actually forgot that I had this one. And I'm currently burning Cinnamon Spice Vanilla right now in my kitchen. Um, so I figured this would be the perfect one to put in instead of that one, because I'll save that one for like spring. But this one is really nice. It's got that hot cocoa, but it's also got that cinnamony and vanilla. -y. It's decadent milk chocolate, ground cinnamon and vanilla bean. This one should be really nice for this time of year. It is unused. 
Um, I haven't even burned it once. So it'll be nice to see some progress on this. I feel like this is gonna be my morning work candle, which is one that I usually um, get like a gourmand one. So excited about this. It wouldn't be Christmas time without peppermint sugar cookie for me. So I'm putting this one in. It is also, oh, it is burned actually. I think I was getting a hankering for Christmas in the middle of the year and just pulled it out. But this one's so awesome. I'm definitely gonna put it in my bedroom. This is one of my favorites every single year. I get it every year to use and it's just so yummy. It is crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter and soft sugar cookies. Just wonderful. We are right here and I'm so excited to burn it, you guys. And also look how cute the packaging was last year with this little girl and her nutcracker. So cute. And the last candle in the project is gonna be a gingerbread milkshake from Goose Creek. This one is from last year. I'm about halfway on the packaging. So I have used it quite a bit. I remember this one being super like caramely, really, really cloying. So this one might be a struggle to get through, but I feel like if I just leave it in the kitchen, I can probably finish it off. So I'm gonna try and finish this one before we start on like full blown Christmas. We'll see, but I'm already halfway. So I feel like I could do it if I just get through it, uh, if I burn it like once a day. So that's gingerbread milkshake. I have to say though, this packaging was adorable. Just the scent was a little meh. So that is it for my project wax for November. We have two, four, six, seven candles in right now. Not a ton, I usually do 10 candles, but I think that this will be better, especially in this like transition month and when I'm trying to focus on finishing off some candles. So that should work out well. So that's everything for this project wax video. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know down below what candles are you burning in the month of November? Have you switched over to full blown Christmas yet? Let me know down below. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.